We made it to Acadia National Park in Maine and oh my goodness, it is absolutely breathtaking. Neither of us really knew what to expect. We headed up this way, but it's been really surprising us in the best way possible. Every, every single place you look up here is beautiful and so we've been really enjoying our time um, but we thought we would spend a little bit of our time today talking to you guys about a question we get super often especially from people who know me well and know that I love style I've always loved fashion and the question is how in the world do you live in a tiny space with a tiny tiny wardrobe and still look pet put together and so I wanted to start by saying it's a little bit easier for me than it would be for most people because my journey with minimalism started about three years ago and I had be already begun paring down my wardrobe and just getting rid of things, donating things, and being more intentional about what I purchase. I actually did two huge projects in college specifically on capsule wardrobes and minimalism. And so having that background really helped me as we moved into the van. I already was being intentional about purchasing fewer things but better things and the challenge as we moved into the van was more about just making sure I had comfortable clothing, versatile clothing that just would work well in all situations because we're outside all the time, we're hiking, we're walking miles and miles and in the van it's a little bit cramped so our knees are always bent and we're jumping up and down off the bed 10 times a day. And so I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of an overview of what it feels like living in a van and how our wardrobe feels. I will say we are a little more spoiled um, than most people who live in a van. We did intentionally make space to have a hanging wardrobe. So behind me, way in the corner, there is a hanging wardrobe space where we um, put most of our dressy clothes because we're wedding photographers. We need to have those nicer clothing. And then also to my left, there are two drawers right here that have shelving in them that essentially equate to the same size as a normal dresser. So we're really not that limited on our space, it was just the challenge of choosing what to bring and what not to bring. So from here, I would love to jump on in, show you guys kind of an overview of our wardrobes, me and Zach's wardrobes, and then we'll go ahead and show you guys our top five outfits for this summer. Let's start with my summer capsule wardrobe. Overall, I own three pairs of pants, three pairs of shorts, six tops, three swimsuits, one sweater, two pairs of athletic shoes, two pairs of sandals, one pair of slides, for a total of 21 items. Now let's look at Zach's summer capsule. It consists of five pairs of pants, four pairs of shorts, seven shirts, one pullover, three board shorts, one pair of athletic shoes, two skate slash everyday shoes, and one pair of sandals, for a total of 24 items. It's honestly surprising how many looks we can create with so few items. Now let's show you our top five summer outfits. In this first outfit, I'm wearing my favorite basic black tee from Amor Vert, straight leg crop pants in bone from Everlane, and cream trainers from Everlane's new footwear line, Tread. Zach is wearing his signature white t-shirt from Target, paired with double knee dickies that provide durability for when he's skateboarding. His slides are Adidas Match Court Pros, and I honestly would really like to steal them. The second look is a little bit more casual. I'm wearing a white tee from Nordstrom, denim also from Nordstrom, teak sandals, and of course, my favorite straw hat from Gigi Pip. Zach is seen in the same white t-shirt, I'm shocked, board shorts from Rip Curl, reef sandals, and a hat he wears literally every single day from Hurley. This third outfit is a little bit dressier. I'm wearing an airy classic top from Everlane, my favorite jeans from a Goldie, and a favorite new addition to my wardrobe, this beautiful Nisolo leather everyday bag. My shoes are a different style of the same brand, Teaks. Zach is wearing a soft Ruka dress shirt with Volcom chinos and black Vans shoes. He topped it off with a Dorfman Pacific hat we found in Carmel, California, one of our favorite places. In this fourth outfit, I'm wearing a top I bought at Hampton Boutique in Charleston, South Carolina, shorts from Everlane, and again, my teak sandals. Zach is wearing another white tee, classic, Visla hybrid shorts, and his reef sandals. I feel like this outfit is one you find us in most often. Every single item here is super, super comfortable. Mm -hmm. 
This final outfit is one of our favorites. I'm wearing my absolute favorite item of clothing on the planet, my gardenia jumpsuit from Amore Verde. I wear it to shoot weddings. The fabric literally feels like pajamas. I'm also wearing slides from Everlane and another Gigi Pip hat. Zach is wearing a black tee this time from Target, Volcom chinos, and his black fans. far too many times. That does it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and if you want to see more of content like this, hit the thumbs up and comment your favorite outfit below. We'll see you guys on the next one.